As you get away from your narcissist and try to break your trauma bond, it's really important to focus on where you're putting your energy. You are no doubt going to have depression, anxiety, maybe some PTSD, and the inevitable ruminating thoughts. The ruminating thoughts are your brain trying to solve a problem that there's no answer to. So it thinks about it over and over again. What should I have done differently? Could I have said something differently? Was I the problem? Why are they like this? Is it childhood trauma? Is it something that I could have fixed? Could I have saved this person? This is where radical acceptance of the situation comes into play. No, you couldn't have saved the person. The relationship was always going to end up like this. It was just a matter of when. Why? Because this is the fate of every narcissistic relationship. They blow things up. The people who have been in long-term relationships with narcissists have tolerated a lot more than you were willing to tolerate. And the people that have spent decades with narcissists are not happy. They're worn down, exhausted, and dehumanized. Because when you are with a narcissist, you are forced to dehumanize yourself and make yourself small. All your energy has to go into them. So now your brain is still trained to have all your energy going into them. So it's ruminating on them. And when you can shift that energy back into yourself, that's when the trauma bond starts to break. So the first step is to remember all the things that make you worthy of love just the way that you are. The intangible things, like that you're a great listener, that you're a good friend, that you're supportive, that you're hardworking. That person that you are deserves a love that is kind, respectful, and true at all times. You do not deserve somebody who wants to hurt you just because they're hurt. And the next step is to shift those thoughts of that person into your future goals. Work on what you want, the future you want to have minus the narcissist, your best life, and then take little steps every day to get there. If your goal is to lose 10 pounds, then be like, well, I'm obsessing over the narcissist, but at least I'll be doing it on the treadmill, right? Like, even though you're still thinking about them, you're making your way towards your happy future minus them in any way humanly possible. And just like when you go to the gym, if you want six pack abs, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take weeks and it's gonna take a lot of work. It's the same thing with breaking a trauma bond. It takes time, you have to put the work in, but eventually you will not even be thinking about this person anymore.